Well, hello, YouTube. Uh, I know that it has been a while. Let me make sure my mic is on, sorry. Uh, and, and I really apologize for that. Uh, I, I've recorded a lot of videos uh, in the last two months or so, uh, and most of them, uh, they've just not come out very good, whether it's quality or the content in and of itself. And uh, I really just, I don't want to put out really bad content to you all. Um, and so I apologize for the lack of updates and the lack of content that's come out. Um, first, let me say thank you to all the new subscribers. We've broken the 400 subscriber mark. That's awesome. I love it. Um, I might in an upcoming video do some kind of giveaway not sure yet um, but I think that might be something that's kind of cool to do uh, we're not quite there yet really want to try to get over that thousand subscriber mark um, but 400 is huge and that's that's massive for me uh, and I really appreciate you all you know, subscribing and watching these videos. Uh, to give kind of an update as to the things that have been going on, I know in the previous videos, uh, I was working on some very large orders, uh, lots of pallet wood going out the door. Um, and honestly, I, I recorded videos of it, but there was only so much that I could record that wasn't just the exact same thing over and 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 over. Uh, and so, you know, I don't want to put out the same video every week uh, to you all. And so I spent the last several months uh, just churning out all that pallet wood, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of pieces. Uh, and I estimated, well, I can actually go pull a report that will show it. But uh, in total, um, total pieces shipped just to that one customer was over 80,000 pieces of material. Uh, everything from uh, inch and a half by three and a half up to a six inch wide material at a half inch thick, uh, varying lengths, whether they were 22 inches, 24 inches, 48, 56, 75, some 80 inch stuff, you name it. Uh, and it was everything under the sun, yellow pine, white pine, hickory, white oak, red oak, poplar, sweet gum. I mean, it ran the gamut. Uh, and then my log supplies started dwindling and drying up. And uh, yeah, uh, so not only did my supply start running low, but the demand for the material from that customer started to dry up. And so I've shifted gears from working on that stuff to uh, several mobile jobs that I've done recently, as well as customers bringing material here that they want uh, either sawn out of logs or resawed. Um, and in this particular instance, what I'm doing today, uh, we're just cleaning up some material for a customer. Uh, she contacted me last week uh, and said that she had a bunch of boards that came out of her grandfather's barn that, and now she's had it for several years. So I don't uh, doubt that this material has actually been sitting for that long. Uh, you can look at material that's been sitting around for a couple of years and compare it to material that's been sitting around for decades and you can visibly see the difference. And so when you pick up something that's Eastern Red Cedar and it's hard, it's very hard, you know that it's got a lot of age to it. And I've got a few of the boards that I've already done sitting over here and then the rest of the stack sitting back there waiting to go through the planer. Now, we're not jointing these. Um, she doesn't want them jointed. She doesn't need them perfectly straight. She just wants one side of each board cleaned up. And that's what we're working on. She was on the impression it was just a big stack of red cedar, but as we were pulling the boards off of the truck, I was telling her, no, you don't just have red cedar here. You've also got black walnut, and I believe one or two of them is sassafras. Um, 
so I can show you what our output is and what's going in. So in terms of the cedar, um, let's see here. Move these out of the way for a second. That's it. So in terms of the cedar, this was all circle milk cut. You can see all the circular marks in it. Um, this stuff's pretty hard when it comes to cedar, but this is what we start with here. And this is what we're getting on the back side. Nice and smooth, beautiful color. Some really pretty stuff. And that's just the cedar. I'll show you the black walnut here in a second. So on the walnut, this is what's going in. You know, it's pretty rough. It's got marks all over it. You've got some mold in there. You've got some water marks and some, some splitting and cracking. But uh, after you run it through the planer, uh, this is what we're, what we're getting in the end. And I'm not 100% sure whether you can see it there well or not. But this is an absolutely beautiful piece. There's tons and tons of figure around this bark inclusion right here. Um, I will uh, grab some denatured alcohol and splash it on there for you so you can see what that grain looks like. If I know where my denatured alcohol is. Let's see, do I have a towel? Oh, yeah, I've got one right here. Get that nice and coated. Stand this one up. Let's see if we can get some of that crotch figure on camera for you. And I dropped my bag. Here we go. I think it's beautiful. Not every board, of course, is gonna come out like that. But uh, quite a few of them are. So I'm happy with it. I know she's gonna be happy with it. They're gonna use all of this for wall paneling in their house, which is why she's okay with leaving one side rough. Let's see, we'll put this back over here. Um, so that's what we're working on. We've got 28 boards in total. Uh, I've got to work on the rest of that stack right there and get it all nice and planed. I'll have it back to her today. Uh, and I'll get you some video of just running this stuff through the planer, but it's, it's nothing special. It's just running boards through a planer. Each one of them are slightly different in thicknesses. There's four quarter, five quarter, six quarter, eight quarter, uh, I think one of these actually started out as nine quarter. So in other updates, <laughs> uh, my brother-in-law Darby and I, uh, week before last, went down to Atlanta to go to da, 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 the Forest Products and Machinery. Oh, there we go. The Forest Products and Machinery Expo. Uh, it was really really cool and interesting to see a lot of this machinery um, it was mostly sawmill and sawmill oriented uh, equipment so loaders laser guides blades mills you name it there was all kinds of great stuff and i was going to take pictures and do some video and that kind of stuff and i ended up leaving the cameras here um, for some reason uh, i had the, the cameras plugged in, ready to charge, and they didn't charge. I came in uh, the morning that we were leaving and the GoPro was dead. My other camera was dead. All I had was my cell phone. Um, 
And then we get down there and I start talking to people and you know, I end up spending an hour and a half with this, uh, this one vendor and then another hour with this vendor and getting in these conversations and not being used to it and not really setting out to uh, do a bunch of video and take pictures and stuff. It, I just forgot and I didn't get it done. So I apologize for that. Um, let's see, what else did we have going on? So a few weeks ago, I posted a picture on Instagram of my Pro Sawyer hat and how just grody my hat was with, you know, the tag that, you know, it's been a long, hot week. And of course, Woodmiser actually saw that and uh, asked me, they sent me a private message and asked me for my address. So I gave Woodmiser, uh, their social media uh, manager, uh, my address and information. And uh, so they sent me a brand new <laughs> uh, Pro Sawyer hat. And uh, you can look and you can see the difference. Uh, this is what the hat used to look like and this is what it looks like now. Uh, so yeah, pretty dirty, man. <laughs> a lot of sweat that goes into a hat like that. Um, let's see. Right now, Woodmiser is running their personal best contest. Uh, and I did enter the personal best contest this year, uh, with a table, uh, farm style, the farmhouse style table that I built, uh, with a bench. And that's up there, and I'll leave a link to that down below in the description if you want to go vote for me, and maybe, perhaps, I might get, you know, a little bit of money for the um, people's choice if I get enough votes. Uh, I've looked at a lot of the stuff that's on there, and there's some truly amazing pieces of art, is what I would call them. So, I don't have stupendously high hopes but at the same time you know if people will throw some votes in there i'd be happy uh wood miser sent me my personal best hat it's live the wood life uh <clears throat> it's a snapback trucker's hat it's actually a little cooler to wear when i'm working here in the shop but i'm trying not to completely trash it so i'm sticking with the one that's garbage right now so yeah, um, beyond that, I've been working on projects. Uh, I've got, I built a, a changing table for my wife, for our house, for our new baby. And uh, it's nothing crazy special. It looks like a shelf. The only difference is, is that it's taller than most of the changing tables that you'll actually buy in the stores. Uh, I'm not short. My wife isn't short. I think she's 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, I'm 6'1". Um, and the changing tables that we tried out before, you're staying bent over. They're, they're way low down here. This one is, is up here. It's almost, it's about 40 inches to the top of it. Um, and so that just makes it so much easier to be able to get in there and, you know, deal with the baby up here rather than way down here. Um, and so I built that. It's got some shelving underneath it so that we could have the diapers and the dirty clothes and all that stuff on the shelving and up off of the floor and out of the way. Um, and so I'll put a, a couple of pictures of that up. Let's see. What else have we done around here? Um... Beyond that, I mean, <laughs> it's just been hot, hot and sweaty. Like I said, you know, I've, I've gone out and done some milling jobs and I've got logs coming in tomorrow and logs coming in on Friday for, uh, to do some custom milling for a couple of customers. Uh, I've got uh, three big black walnut trees to go take a look at tomorrow uh, that may be coming here to the mill. Hopefully, cross our fingers, we'll see what happens. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, it's summer in Southeast Tennessee or Georgia or South Carolina or Mississippi 
it's misery down here. And getting out here and working, I think I looked at the thermometer the other day, inside of my shop it was 92 degrees, and that's outside of the, the sun. Outside, it was like 101 degrees out there, and it was brutal. No wind blowing whatsoever, just stagnant, sitting on top of you heat. And then the 80% humidity. And we've had these micro storms that will roll through and some of them don't even drop any rain but it just pushes humidity in front of them and i can walk outside that door right this second and, and within probably 40 seconds i'll be just dripping sweat from head to toe uh, i'm going through multiple shirts a day and it's just whew. summer in the south is is pretty miserable um so all you guys that are out there working construction and paving roads and, and, and getting out there in the beating heat, man, power to you. I respect the hell out of you guys because I, def I definitely don't like doing it. I, I might even take the entirety of next summer off <laughs> so that I don't have to deal with the friggin' heat. Uh, that or install about 12 air conditioning units inside of the shop. Because, man, it gets hot in here, and it gets hot quick. So, without further ado, I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up. Um, and now I'm going to start running some of these boards through the planer, and I, I hope you enjoy.